Hi, it's Ian with your weekly dose of hints, inspiration and tips. And this week I just want to talk about measuring the things that matter. Sometimes we call these KPIs, uh, sometimes we just call them activity targets. And there are certain things in your business that if you do them on a regular basis are going to make a real difference. Now this goes right back to the idea that we've spoken about a few times which is goals. So first of all you want to know where you want to get to. Those are your goals. From there you need to set your areas of focus. So for us we know that one of our top level goals is to acquire six properties in 2019. Now we know that for every offer that we put in most of them are going to get turned down we tend to offer reasonably low and we reckon it's a bit of a guess but we're keeping the numbers we reckon that it's one in 20 that actually get accepted now as we get more numbers so we'll be able to refine this and of the properties that we view we reckon that we uh, actually offer on half of them so that's one in 40 that we view that we actually get an offer accepted so from that we can work backwards and we can work out that we need to see about four and a half houses per week in order to get the right number and that's one of our top level goals is to get those six houses so the top level activity is to view four and a half houses a week now we do a little bit more than that we aim for six and the reason why we aim for six is because we want to be out of the country occasionally and of course it's very difficult to view a house when you're the other side of the world so six houses each week is one of our activities now it's all too easy when you're setting these to say right we've got to do this we've got to do that we've got to do the other we've got to do some more of this and more of that and actually there are only one or two activities at this moment in time that really make a difference to your business and the skill of leadership and the skill of management are focusing down on just the four or even better three but we tend to do it four that are really going to make a difference so we have our long-term goals we have quarterly goals we therefore break those down into monthly goals and we do that at the end of each month so we're halfway through February now it won't be long before the end of February and one of my very high level tasks is to, as we get towards the end of February picking the three or four things that we're going to concentrate on as we move through March and then communicating those with our team so it's not just Jules and I it's also going out to the other people that are influencers of the business that we that really are part of our core team and those people don't need to be employees they can be people that support you in no matter what way at all they could be people that hold you accountable people who might be bringing deals to you or they could be just people that are doing some of the admin work certainly our PA is a uh, an integral part of our team and our vision and our goals are shared very strongly with her so we limit it to four at the end of each month we set what those are and then we focus on doing just those to the exclusion of everything else unless it's an actual operational item so if something needs um, a tap fixing we obviously need to get a plumber in that that can't wait that's that needs to be done but generally we don't do any new stuff apart from the stuff that we decided at the beginning of the month which is driven by the quarterly goals which in turn is driven by the yearly goals so I hope that's helpful a little bit on how to set and how to adhere to what some people call objectives some people call KPIs key performance indicators and if you can put numbers on these obviously so much the better it's so much easier to track them it's a little bit of a, a skill and but the better the more you do it the more that you will um, feel natural at it and the easier it gets and the more precise you get with it so check out next week for another dose of hints inspirations and tips